everyone, I'm teacher Hidayah of Genius Young Minds where we help your child score in math within a very short period of time. You're watching Score PSLE Math videos with me. Today, I'm going to share with you one of the must-know PSLE problem sum math concepts. It's good for the P6 and P5 students. Okay, here's concept number two, all right? This is the all changing quantities concept. For all changing quantities concept, it is one of the before and after concepts, right? Where the questions will have a before, a change, and an after. How do we identify such questions? It's by looking at the keywords, all right? They either would like to find out what the person have in the end, at first, or what they spent. In this case, the question is asking how much this boy spent. So spent is a change keyword. It is very important that your child is able to identify the before, the change, and the after keywords. All right. So this is all changing quantities concept. Let's try out this question. All right. Let's read first. Farik had two hundred and seventy dollars, and Gopal had one hundred and ninety-two dollars. Gopal spent twice as much as Farid. Farid had twice as much money as Gopal after spending. How much did Farid spend? Alright, so the first step is to identify the BCA. So in a question, you will have to identify where is the before sentence, the change sentence and the after sentence. Okay, so let's start. Farid had... 270 and Gopal had 192. This is definitely my before. Okay, so we put there B and we identify. Okay, I always get my students to underline and draw arrow back to the person so that they are aware of what they are reading and they can identify straight away. Okay, Gopal spent twice as much. Spent is a change keyword. Spend is a change keyword. So when you see spend here, this is my change sentence. Okay. So what did Gopal spend? Gopal spent twice as much as Farid. So twice means two units. As much as Farid is one unit. After the magic phrase, as much as the person after as much as will have one unit. Okay. So this is my change. Then the full stops indicate that this is my after. And also the word after spending tells me that this is my after. Okay. Farid had twice. So this one is two units. As much money as Gopal after spending. So which means Gopal now have one unit after spending. So this sentence tells me that this is my after. How much did Farid spend? So I want to know Farid spent. This is what I want to find out. Okay, so we have already identified the BCA. Now we have already established the units to represent the spent or the after. Okay, we know that Gopal spent two units, Farid spent one unit. We know that after spending, Farid has two units, Gopal have one unit. So we are done. Now we draw out the table. Okay, so now let's draw out the table. So all changing quantity table. There will be two columns. The first person here is Farid. Then we have Gopal. Then we have our B, our C and our A. Then we draw out the lines. Okay. Then we fill it up with the information that's, that we have already I underlined, identified earlier on. So before Farid, how much does he have? He has 270. We put the 270. Before Gopal, he had $192. So we put $192. Then, change Gopal. Change Gopal. Change Gopal spend two units. Okay? Then change Farid. Change Farid spend one unit. Understand? Now, after. After Farid. After Farid, he have two units. After Gopal. After Gopal, we have one unit. You see how I actually just identify and then pick and put into the box. Okay? It is very easy, much clearer than if your child were to draw out the model. Because if your child draw out the model, he has to draw two sets of model and he must know what to transfer 
or to cut out from the model okay all right so once we have this for all changing quantity we have to circle what we want to find out first okay so we want to find out how much did Farid spend so you want to know one you need to put a question mark there this is what i want to find next step for all changing quantity you have to establish a row okay to equalize it in this case where is the unit the unit is in the change and the after all right so i can't equalize the change because this is what i want to find so i can equalize the after row because there's units there okay i have two units for farid and one unit for gopa are they the same they're not the same can we make them the same we can so this one unit we times two okay so one unit times two so whatever we do to a box in the column the next column the next box in the same column will do the same here times two as well here times two as well so here becomes two units here becomes four units and here we get three eight four dollars okay so are we done with the question we are not done yet okay so we have to find out all right per column all right we go and look at the row that's equalized is the after row okay so we ask ourselves to get these two units to get these two units and these two units what happened for gopal and what happened for farid okay so in this case the two units is equal to 270 we actually this one he spent right so when it spent it's minus here is also minus okay so minus one unit and then for gopal to get the two units it's equal to three eight four minus four units understand okay so now these two two units and two units are equal which means this and this is also equal so we're going to rewrite okay we're going to rewrite the equation then we're going to solve 270 is equal to 1 unit 270 minus 1 unit is equal to 384 minus 4 units okay so as usual we're going to group up all the units to one side and all the number to the other side so we're going to group up all the units to my right hand side and my left hand side and then my numbers to my right hand side so this become 4 unit minus 1 unit, 384 minus 270. 3 unit is equal to 2114. Then 1 unit is equal to 114 over 3 equals to 38. Do we stop here? We check. What do we want to find? We want to find out 1 unit. Did we get our 1 unit? Yes, we did. So this is our answer. So remember, for all changing quantity concept, identify the B, C, A first. It will be much clearer if your child already know what the B or the before, the change and after keywords are. Alright? Try this at home and then guide your child through and see whether your child understands this concept. Okay? So if you find this video beneficial, please share this video to others so that it can benefit the parents and students as well. This is good for P6 and P5 students at the moment. Alright, this has been Teacher Hidayah of Genius and Minds, where we help your child score in math within a very short period of time. Goodbye.